Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to yet another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. We are less than three weeks away from the 2016 Kentucky Derby. The excitement is building. The field is all but set with all the major prep races complete. To 20 horses, minor defection or two perhaps, are ready to go for the first Saturday of May at Churchill Downs. Handicappers are beginning their preparation and trying to come up with the winner in this year's event. Some will look towards the pace scenario. Some will look towards trouble trips in the prep races. Others will look to horses training well in the mornings. And of course, many will look towards the pedigree and the the lineage, of course, of the horses in the race. No bigger question in terms of pedigree this year than whether Red Hot Sire Uncle Mo can have his horses stretch out to the mile and a quarter distance that the Kentucky Derby presents. Well, some say yes, some say no. Uncle Mo will have three, maybe four shots in this year's field to see if perhaps his horses can get the distance. Of course, Uncle Mo was brilliant in his two-year-old campaign in winning the Champagne in his second career race and then the Breeders' Cup Juvenile in his third career race by four lengths. His three-year-old campaign did not go as planned, however. He was defeated in the Wood Memorial as the odds-on favorite, and health issues never really got Uncle Mo back to form. The question is whether this horse and his progeny are better off at one turn and running when they're two in the early three-year-old stage, or perhaps they are just going to be that good and will have no problem getting the classic distances like the Kentucky Derby and even maybe the Belmont Stakes. Well, Uncle Mo has three shots, like I said, and maybe four if Uncle Lino gets in. And the biggest one is Nyquist, the champion and the likely favorite in this year's event. Nyquist has done everything asked of him and more, including victories this year as a three-year-old in this one-turn San Vicente, and then most recently dominating Mo Hamon in the field in the $1 million Florida Derby. It did appear that he got a little tired or perhaps bored at the end of that race, so the questions are still out there on whether he can get the distance and whether he's worth taking a short price on in the 20-horse field the Derby will offer. We shall see if stamina is an issue. It'll definitely be interesting. Another of the Uncle Mo's that will be in the Kentucky Derby is Outwork. The Todd Pletcher trainee has been light on experience thus far, having raced only three times this year, but has shown a ton of talent and has shown a grittiness and ability and a desire to battle. Most recently, he was able to hold off long shot Trojan Nation in a stretch duel in the Wood Memorial, and before that was defeated in the Tampa Bay Derby by stablemate Destin. Outwork certainly has the talent, but like all Uncle Mo's, the pedigree analysts are waiting to see whether this one can get the distance. Finally, the third of the Uncle Mo's that is definitely going to be in the gate barring any set late setbacks is Mo Tom. Unlike Outwork and unlike Nyquist, Mo Tom does his best running late. He will not be up near the early pace, and this has caused him some problems in both the Risen Star and the Louisiana Derby when jockey Corey Lannery found trouble that has been well documented and did not allow for Mo Tom to unleash his late run in those races. Trainer Tom Amos is very confident his horse can run on late, and many will also agree with the trouble trips and his running style that perhaps he can get there, but pedigree analysts once again will want question whether an Uncle Mo progeny is best serve going one turn or perhaps if he can get the mile and a quarter distance. Personally, I wonder if this horse just seems to find his own trouble at this point or if we can really expect him to get a clear run late in the stretch of Churchill Downs. The fourth of the potential Uncle Moses, Uncle Lino. He's unlikely to get in based on his points in the road to the Kentucky Derby standings, but Uncle Mo- Uncle Lino has been pretty impressive at Santa Anita and taking on the best out here. He's tired late and may prefer shorter distances to mile and a quarter, but I hope for Gary Sherlock's sake, a real good horseman here in Southern California, that he does find a way to get in the field, even if it is a long shot and probably an unlikely spot. So, we shall see. Big question, can Uncle Mo get the distance with his progeny? Can Nyquist or Outwork or even Mo Tom win this year's Kentucky Derby? Or will we go into the future in a 2017 wondering if Uncle Mo's are kind of horses that are better off, you know, thriving at two and at the one-turn mile type distances? It should be interesting. Can't wait. We'll be back again soon with our next version of Shapcap. But until then, good luck with your Kentucky Derby prep. 
in terms of research and uh, have a great week.